I'm sorry, officer. Was I speeding? Hang on a minute. It's a light. He's got a candle. Hang on a minute. It's a light. Say what? What are you doing? I'm cooking up a storm. Say what? Hi everyone, welcome to IoT X is on Tech. Thank you very much for joining me today. What did you think of my little intro video? <laughs> I know, crazy. But I, I just come up with these ideas the other night when, you know, I, I had to make this video obviously, and I thought, well, what can I do to make it a bit funny and to give you some sort of scenarios of where you could use this brilliant little video light. So this is the Lightu Photo RGB Video Light N160. Now what makes this thing special is its price. It's really, really competitively priced if you compare it against other RGB LED video lights that you can buy on the market. The other thing I like about it is that it acts as a power bank. So you can plug in like your mobile phone or camcorder. Uh, what else could you plug into it? Well, it's mostly for your mobile phone anyway. So what do we get in this little pack? I was pleasantly surprised what you get in here, actually. So stand the box up, Ugh. stand the box up by there. So of course, you get the little light, which has a metal body, a nice little OLED screen on the back. I'll show you that in a moment. An RGB wheel, so you can dial in the type of color that you want. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Has a USB-C charging port, which is brilliant. The on off switch, the color selector wheel, and the saturation wheel, or the brightness wheel, or the effects wheel. I'll get into those in a little minute as well. What else do we get? Like a certificate, yeah, qualified. Uh, then we get your instruction pamphlet, should we call it? Comes in a, several different languages. You've got Japanese, something else, English. Yeah, it's like Chinese, but it comes with some very detailed instructions as well. So once you got the box, you think, oh, what does that mode do? How do I get onto that mode? And what does this button do? And what does that little knob do? Well, I'm going to teach you that, but also it'll tell you in the instructions as well. <laughs> comes with a little USB-C charging cable, USB-A to USB-C, or you can plug it into this uh, light, fantastic little light, and use it to charge your phone if you've got USB-C, that is. And of course, comes with a little um cold shoe adapter like a little ball head thing so this screws into the bottom of the light and then you can adjust it to any angle you want point it down point it out left right etc um threaded on both ends it also can fit onto a normal light stand that has a thread on it as well the um, little quarter inch thread on the top so you haven't got a tripod or a hot shoe cold shoe you can slide it onto it'll easily go onto one of the, the light stands that i use here in my little studio but another thing it comes with which is pretty cool. Oh, there's a little soft carry pouch. Now this is so, so soft. I wish I had socks made out of these. <laughs> but this easily oh, slides in there. A little pull string, you can toss it into your bag. And you know, it's not gonna get scratched. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, by the way, if you can hear pops and bangs, it's currently Guy Fawkes night here in the UK. I'm shooting on the 5th of November. Silly me, I should have shot this video last night. So apologies about the bangs and the pops and the whizzes you may hear uh, in the background. It's not here, it's all outside I'm afraid. So how do you work this little brilliant light? Well, let me tell you some stats about it as well, really. So this little photo light, light to photo, light, light to photo, it says light to photo on it. So it's like, kind of like saying, I light your photo, I wanna light your photo. Okay, so let's give you some specs about this fantastic little light then. So of course it has the usual CRI index of 96 plus. So CRI index stands for Color Rendering Index. 
so you know you're going to get really accurate colors with this little light as well. Uh, what else does it have? It has 100 pieces of bicolor LED beads. So basically, you got like a, a cool white and a really warm white LED in here, but there's 100 of these. Also comes with 45 RGB color LEDs. Look how fantastic they look. They look really good. So on the bottom, you've got the screw thread to go onto the cold shoe adapter. You've also got your USA port rated at five volts output. So that's good enough to charge your mobile phone. The battery in this device as well is a 4,400 milliamp battery. It uses about nine watts of power when it's on full blast on either the white or the RGB. On the side then, you've got the red on off button. So you push and hold, it'll turn the light on, push and hold, and it'll turn the light off. You've got your up and down uh, toggle switch there, up and down toggle switch, and then of course USB-C charging port. So on the front of the device, you can see it's slightly frosted, so that'll diffuse the light a bit better as well. Uh, you can see the individual uh, LEDs in there. So the big rectangular ones, they're the cold white and the warm white LEDs. And then the square ones, they are the color RGB LEDs. On the top, you've got nothing. And on the other side, you've got another quarter inch thread. So you could mount this in portrait mode if you really wanted to, on top of your camera, on top of the tripod, on your lighting stand, wherever you want to put it really. So I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna turn this light on full blast, on full white, and then turn off my two studio lights and then see what it looks like. So to power it on, you just push and hold the power button. It should come on like a purpley color because that's why I left it on last. There you go. Can you see the individual LEDs in there? It looks kind of infrared, doesn't it? So I'll change it to white. So to change it to white, just push the red button a couple of times. Look, look at the little arrow and it goes down, 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 and back to the, the H296. Well, that's the color. So you can change your color by holding it up. It goes through the cycle. And then the bottom one, if you push it up or down, um, it makes it go brighter or darker, which it goes pretty, pretty bright. So I'll put it down to about 25%. There we go. If I push the red button again, it highlights the S on the back. S stands for saturation. So at the moment it's on 100% saturation. Use the top one, you can move it down. So it's going down to 99. But then as you go further, further down, there's less color in it. So that's 1%, which looks quite, I don't know if you can see, but it looks quite bluish. Then if you put the saturation back up again, it goes back to the green hue that I selected. So I push down the red button once more, and this goes to white. So this has a really impressive range of, of whiteness, should we say. So the coolest it can go is 32, uh, 3200K, 3200 Kelvin. And then it goes all the way up to a massive 75, 75,000. <laughs> it goes up to a massive 7,500K Kelvin. So that's like really ice white. I don't know if you can see the color on the desk here. So I'm gonna mount this on top of my camera by there. I'll turn it down to around about 56. Well, I did put it on the other day when it was really sunny and around about 45 seem to be like a nice uh, nice warmish color so i put it down to 45k uh 4500k i'm gonna mount it on top of my camera and then see how that looks on me wow I, I can just barely look at myself in the camera it feels so bright what do you think i think i like the uh reflection on the desk yeah that's on 4000 500 Kelvin, I think it was a 4,600 Kelvin. It's on full maximum brightness, 100% on the nice crisp whitey, kind of yellowy uh, glow um, coming from the white, the bicolor, uh, the bicolor white LEDs in, in the little light. Hmm, reflections. Yeah, you can kind of tell it's LED by looking at the reflections on the desk, I don't know if you can see them there because obviously the light's in front of me. But um, yeah, this is nice and bright. I guess you could put it behind a diffuser box, for example. I use um, these big diffuser boxes on my LED lights up by there, up by there. They've got, they got what, 660 LEDs in them? That's got, what, 100 uh, bicolor white LEDs? 
and of course 46 RGB LEDs. So I, this is impressive, I must say. I can't even look at the lights because all I see now is dots in my eyes. <laughs> so let's go back to the studio lights and then we'll dissect the colors on this and the menus that you go through. So there we go. Let's turn this down a little bit more and I'll sh you can see then the individual the individual white, ice white, and like the, the yellow LEDs in it. So it's kind of the same for the color ones as well. So I'm gonna push the red button, go around a couple of the options. Let's go back to color. So this is the green. What was I, I had it on, I think, like a ready color earlier on. So this little color wheel on the back, this helps you to configure the H number, the hue number on the back. So saying 130, so look between 120 and 180. We well, you know that's gonna be like a kind of greeny color. 180 to 240 is between blue and like a, a violet color, I guess. And then from 240 to 300 is like violet to purpley. And then from 300 to zero is like from um, purpley to red. And then you go right round. So as you saw in my intro video, great acting by the way, wasn't it? Um, it's got several different effects on this light. So let me take the tripod off, tripod adapter. So let's go through the options here. So push the red button to go down, saturation, down to um, the white color. And then you've got, it looks more like a zigzag, I guess, in like a stop sign, hexagonal type of shape. So you've got three options in this one. A, seems to be like a, a fast lightning effect. There you go. And then if you, the top wheel, push it up once, it goes to B, which seems to be like a kind of faster lightning effect. But then you've got C, which is kind of like what's called the TV effect. So you could put this on in like your living room, for example, and just pretend that you're watching TV or like if you go out, for example, and you've put your blinds down a little bit, you can leave that in your room and it, st it stimulates like you're watching TV. Pretty, uh, pretty good one to have. What we've got next, we've got what looks like an arrow and an arrow. So if you push that, oh, this is the color fade one. So it's got three different effects on this one. You've got A, which is, I guess, kind of quite a fast one. It just cycles through the different colors on, on the lamp. I do like that one. And then you've got B. Well, there you go, that's the faster one. So the A is the slow one, B is the faster one, and then you've got C, which is a candle effect. Sorry about the fireworks. So what about the bottom option then? That looks like an alien spacecraft, like a UFO kind of thing. So if you push the red button again to select it, this is where we got the cop car effect from. So you've got police car, then you've got apparently fire engine, I think it's called. And then you've got C, which is an ambulance, which flashes between white and red. Back to A, which is, oop, back to A, which is like red and blue. And then B, which is blue and white. As you've seen in my intro video, the red and blue one is the one that I used. <laughs> so overall, I think this light is fantastic. Um, I love the range of colors it has. That light output, or as you've just seen a few moments ago, it's really, really strong. Another good thing about this, I tested the battery life of it over a, a couple of days. It's quite quick to charge. Well, I say quite quick to charge. Bearing in mind, you know, it's a 4,400 milliamp um, lithium polymer battery inside of a rechargeable battery. So battery life on this thing, I think is, is relatively good for an RGB LED video light. So I tried it the other day up on 100% brightness on 4,500 Kelvin, which is the nice natural looking light. Full blast, 100%, and it lasted for an hour and a half. So that was from uh, full charge down to absolute, completely dead. Then I charged it up, it took two and a half hours to charge, which isn't too bad considering it's a 4,400 milliamp lithium polymer battery in there. So after I fully charged it up to 100%, it took two and a half hours to charge. I then set it on 50% brightness, and again on the 4,500 Kelvin, 4,500 Kelvin, and it lasted three and a half hours. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty good. And then of course it took then again, two and a half hours to charge. I was using a Samsung fast charger to charge it, so obviously through the USB-C. 
So would I recommend the Light2 Photo RGB Video Light N160? Absolutely. It is such a versatile, very easy to use, lightweight, great light output video light. So if you'd like to buy this product, hit the video description below. There's a link for Amazon in there. So what did you think of this video? Did you find my, uh, my intro scene cringeworthy? <laughs> Or would you like to see more in the future? You never know, I've got a great selection of wigs. <laughs> if you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, then hit that thumbs down button twice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you who have subscribed already to my channel. Nearly hit 500 or possibly even over 500 by now by the time I release this video. If you haven't done so already, then please hit that subscribe button below. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of IoT X is on Tech. I'll catch you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.